Kibro Kai for CTG. And, oh. uh, and getting these players pretty cold and we don't have a lot of right into it. Oh. This must be a hand warmer. This must be. Or are they really going right into it? Oh. Oh, they're just going right into it. Yeah, this is it. And wait, there's no timer. Should we? Alright, we're gonna figure that out on the next one. Yo, we didn't find an Everdrive? We didn't find an Everdrive? Huh? Has, has anybody been looking? I don't know. Can we look for one? We have no timer on. Yeah, here, I'm uh, setting just a timer on my phone. It's setting it to 744 right now. Yo, quick pick up after that up zone. So now the edge gardens were. A lot of Pikachus have issues with, but just like that, Hero Pie takes stock number one. So, you were right about Hero Pie warming up the Pikachu. So, That's gonna be a stock. I think that was a good wait by CTG. I think he purposely wanted to land it down B on the right side of Pikachu rather than the left because it allowed for the star KO. Otherwise, he would have probably died off of the right side of the stage, I making see. him spawn far quicker. Yeah, I could. I felt like that was a bit of a delay. Like, you, I thought he might up it. Oh my god, the finesse of that. I don't know if you saw that, but it was... He did a up air crossover on shield, so he oh, could yeah. get the other side of that grab, which led to a KO. Yeah, and right here, setting it up with a... Dirty little chain. Oh, uh, good pound. Good yeah, pound by CTG. I like that. Ooh, I think he overextended himself right there with that up, with that forward air. Yeah, Hero yeah. Pie taking another stock lead. Fresh one at that. Good mix up. And immaculate spacing by both. Yeah. Ooh. Looks like um, good Ooh. wave. Is that gonna be a? Follow it up. Ooh, I don't know if he. That was a risky pursuit by Hero Pie. It was just an up air. That was the first up air on CTG's fresh stock. So it's not confirmed on anything else, or at least it's risky to follow up. Yeah. Oh, I think that ledge cancel could have led to perhaps a down air or something, yeah. else, something else. If he had fast fall out of it? Yeah. Because he got that ledge cancel off that back air. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like the Kimimaru. Hmm. Ooh. I think he just snubbed a, a forward smash. Good forward tilt. Damn. And the CTG kind of just giving it up there with the Nair just going out on his own terms, so to speak. <clears throat> oh, nice. We're getting a never driving, guys. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Alright, we're gonna have a timer from now on. This is all gonna be sanctioned. Uh, that that last match was uh, less than three minutes, I believe, so uh, they're going pretty quickly anyway. I, I had a timer. But just in case. Just in case. Maybe, um, yeah, maybe, maybe this next one will go to the time. Oh, oh, and just like that, the all right. rules all together. Who do you think has advantage on this stage? Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu has yeah. advantage on every stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a rough. One. Those were the days. Those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everything from the past, man. Yeah. Archaic. Yeah. Alright, so we got ourselves the neutral right there. So, it Ooh, seems like, um... Good pick up right there. Hero Pie doesn't necessarily go to the top platform, but... Uh, he will if CTG is going up there. He challenges him. That's a good control. job by Hero Pie, throwing that up there and then backing away afterwards. Oh, I was hoping he'd land on that, on that platform, but he didn't. Good teleport follow through by CTG. Yeah.
Teleport may have helped him follow up there. And he ends it with a back throw. Strong enough to kill a Pikachu at that percent. Ooh, I think he wanted that ledge cancel right there on the top platform of that up there. This is a combo setup, and I'm wondering why Hero Pai DI'd forward instead of behind off the stage. I'm not sure what he was hoping for, but right now CPG's got a two stock lead against Hero Pai in game two. And again, these quick stocks against Pikachu, adding some variance to the matchup. Ooh, good back here by Hero Pai, yeah. sealing that stock just now. Hero Pai, despite CTG's immaculate DI, yeah. Hero Pai still managed to adapt to it and adjust the combo accordingly. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, and is the DI it's the not enough? The DI was help. almost enough. Yeah, you know, CTG, he has that Hori DI. Uh, Janitor was talking about that for DI yesterday. Yeah. I think it played a factor in yeah. his match against CTG. And especially as as Puff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but you, you, you kind of, uh, you need it to keep it fair. And ooh, good awareness by CTG, knowing that Hero Pai was going to throw the slow fall Nair after that up air. Made it possible so CTG could avoid it and capitalize with an up air. And I like how, how he uh, drifted inward on that rest. Stay on the stage. Taking the time to uh, have a momentum change. I think one thing uses really well that a lot of, I think a lot of pups don't use in neutral is up air. Yeah. Um, nice. Ooh, I don't know why he didn't go for that grab. Hero by shaking his head, knowing he could have gotten an easy conversion right there. Still sealed the stock, but do you really want to work harder? Then I work smarter. Now it's a last stock match. <laughs> But you know, we've been seeing Pikachu's get upset and get the eye. Yeah. Off the platform. They don't want to get stuck on there. With yeah. The CPG on there. <clears throat> Pie multiple times has uh, has gotten off the platform with the eye. And that's the second time or third time this game that Hero Pie gets punished for pursuing a stray up air on 0%, thinking yeah. he can follow it up. But CTG is far too aware of this. Yeah, and up now, air otherwise, though, is a really oh. good spacing move. I don't know if Hero Pai could have extended that combo, but I think he, he wants to respect CTG. That's up trying to confirm on things that he might not know. Ooh, Ooh might not know confirm. As an advantage, teleport. Yep. Yes, it's teleport Nair, and he gets the uh, game two off Hero Pai. That, that teleport Nair is, is crucial. Um, and uh, CTG has been getting follow ups with it all day. Let's see if it continues. So, one thing I've noticed is CTG, I think, will try and edge guard or read the ledge on a recovering Pikachu in the early percentages of the Pikachu. Yeah. But when he starts getting to the higher percentages, he will pursue with the teleport, whether it be an up air yeah. or a hard nair. And that is a stock. Yeah. Let's see how he follows it up. Hard nair? Yeah. But the, the DI, man, it's going to make the follow up hard. Had a little bit of a skirmish there, and Hero Pie picking up the, the grab. Ooh, and only able to chain two up airs. DI made it possible so that that last back air, the seal of the, the nail of the coffin, but yeah. he had the Mac. Nice yeah. back air, barely squeezed it in. CTG almost had advantage right there. Yeah. Mag. And I think yep, yeah. that would be a stock. Weak bear to rest. Another punish. Let's see how he mixes it up. Ooh. Uh, there was something there. there platform I think. movement by both. Wow, so he has the lead now. He, he really wants to tack something on. in an up air, and those are the up airs that I've been talking about that CTG uses so well to confirm or win neutrals, but also confirm off of those. 
Now we've got ourselves a ooh, it's our situation for CTG squanders it and then Hero Pie converts off of the ledge. And the late hits of those dares are just uh, setting Hero Pie up. See what Hero Pie can do. I think he's at a percent where CTG can land some of those uppers that he's been positioning really well and convert to a rest. Ooh. Nice wave. Yeah. It was uh will do it. Hero Pie takes game three, putting on one game above CTG. Yeah. And now <clears throat> Um, Hero Pie looked, uh, looked like he was playing a bit uh, hotter than CTG that game. Um, it's good CTG take a short break, kills that momentum. <clears throat> and now we are uh, we're in game four. And the stocks can just go so quickly, you know. <clears throat> We've been seeing Pikachu's getting upset all day. The winner of this, of course, play, uh, plays free in in winners finals. I know y'all want to see CCG versus Freean, probably. That would be a really <laughs> interesting matchup to see, seeing as how a lot of folks think or believe that um, Luigi has the advantage on that matchup. Yeah. So I'd be interested to see how CCG handles that. Yeah, it would be. Because I know he's been working on his on the Samus matchup. Yeah. Uh, but be has he been trying to work on his Luigi matchup? I don't know if he <clears> ever <throat> saw himself in Winners Finals against yeah. Freeon at an event. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, with Freeon, um, you know, taking it over Brody, yeah. I also would want to see Hero 5 versus Freeon. I'd want to see what would happen. I, you know, could Freeon... I would like to see any combination yeah. of that, though I'd like to see my boy Hero 5 move yeah. on. Yeah, of course. Of Someone course. from Cali, for that matter. I think we can rejoice over that together. Yeah. <laughs> and it looked like uh, uh, Hero Pie's combo was interrupted by yeah. him grabbing the ledge. Good follow by CTG. And those up the escapes. Yeah, Hero Pie's DI combined with... Pikachu's immaculate up B. Yeah, he I want to able to escape that. I want to see if CTG will do that thing against Pikachu where uh, Pikachu will up B escape and he does the delayed up tilt to catch him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, so you're by getting a little comfortable with four stocks here. No follow up. See, this time he revives a little bit more discipline backing away after the initial hit on the yeah. on CTG because. I know CPG sometimes is looking for those where he can take a hit but convert it. Yeah. Um, and that that's what was happening before, like you were saying, he was doing an up air on zero and trying to follow up. Exactly, exactly. <clears throat> so I'd like to see more short hop teleport follow ups from CPG. Oh, yeah. On tumbles really close to the ground. But, you know, right now, so right now is when it gets grueling. I mean, this Pikachu stock has gone on forever. CTG wants to take it. Um, oh my god. But if you're getting too. Oh! That was so good by Hero <laughs> the Pie. Pro get up attack. He got a little antsy at the ledge earlier. Yeah. As soon as he knocked Hero Pie off stage, he expected the quick get up, the quick rise and get up. Yeah. And usually a lot of Pikachu's do that. They immediately want to get up, but they get snubbed by a bounce match. Ooh. And good conversion of that yeah. straight up. Nice those uppers I've been talking about. And uh, the platform checks him. Yeah, he's um. That's the thing up air. It's it's this big meaty hitbox that protects yeah. his top, yeah. and it's also it starts a combo. Yeah. Ooh. And this is gonna be rough for CTG to make back. Ooh, oh, he's able to touch. So and just like that. Oh, oh he and went for it yeah. Off. That was a hard one because he was conscious that he didn't want to fly off the stage. Yeah. So he was like, maybe I can squeeze it in. He went hard. Yeah. The man goes hard. And that, I mean, it would have changed the, the tone of the match. When Absolutely. he takes the stock there, then it becomes yeah. a, a very it, tense. It's a neutral win, yeah. really, away from yeah. that win.